this is Gali Kofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling tough because today our quote of the day is, the only reason I can't jump in and engage life is that I've told myself that I can't. Yet I can't help wondering what would happen if I told myself that I could? By Craig Lonsbrow. This quote is about self-sabotage. Most people have some form of self-sabotaging behavior rooted deep within their subconscious mind. We fear success or we have feelings that we are not worthy of a better life for ourselves. Even when things are going our way and everything seems fine, those of us who have self-sabotaging tendencies tend to feel anxious about succeeding and about being the center of attention and about feeling good and feeling fulfilled and happy. It takes real courage to overcome self-sabotage, to al allow ourselves to step into our greatness, not only to start believing in ourselves, but also to start allowing ourselves to reap the fruits of our actions before trampling all over them. Feelings of incapability, even though they are false, oftentimes prevent us from even taking the first step. We can achieve our wildest dreams and we deserve not only to go after our dreams, but also to achieve them. And this is why we are alive. We are creators. In the likeness of our creator, we have the powers to create what we desire in our life. But we must believe in our abilities before we can even start. It is crazy that even when we put in so much effort, so many hours, days, months, and even years honing our craft and becoming great at something, a self-sabotaging person still does not feel that they deserve their success. So they either hide their work, keep it to themselves, or try to pass it on to the wrong people who do not appreciate it enough. And an example of this is Vincent van Gogh. Only after he died and stopped self-sabotaging his own success, did he reach the great fame he was so deserved, deserving of? Self-sabotaging behavior often comes from having deep, rooted guilt feelings. Having feelings of guilt ingrained within us lead us to a, a loss of self-esteem, negative feelings, and the destruction of our relationships and even the destruction of our life. They can be so potent, guilt feelings. They are so destructive to our psyche of any person, and they usually come from early childhood, these guilt feelings, from parents or caregivers who use guilt feelings to manipulate and control our feelings and our behaviors to suit their own. Our caregivers learn this method of raising controlled children from their own caregivers because it, it works so effectively. Children who have experienced destructive criticism or lack of love during their childhood will often develop guilt feelings about their actions and will tend to self-sabotage their own success in the future. They will have a tendency to believe that even if they do have some, some level of success, that it must be transient and that they, and they expect that probably something will soon go wrong. As I mentioned in yesterday's video, what you expect you will get because of the functioning of the levels of, of consciousness of our mind. Self-sabotage comes from deep-seated beliefs in our subconscious mind that we are not good enough, and that we cannot reach greatness and do not deserve greatness. Even if something is good, people with self-sabotaging behaviors and beliefs see it as being only temporary. But the fact is that there is absolutely no reason why our lives cannot and should not be filled with series of good, lucky, prosperous, and even great events. Why should we hold the belief that we should have bad luck or that we do not deserve the very best for ourselves when other people have exactly what we desire? People with guilt feelings tend to be overly critical of themselves. And they are always excusing their behavior in the face of others. People with guilt feelings also tend to be critical of other people and other people's behaviors. And this leads to a lot of difficulty in their own personal relationships. Slowly, as we learn more about negative feelings and negative emotions in general, 
it is easy to see how one actually creates a negative reality from themselves from these negative emotions. The negative emotions disrupt good relationships and allow one to expect bad things to happen to them so that they don't put in the effort or they don't even take the first step. It always begins with a, a thought, with a belief that we hold, a limiting belief that leads to our actions, that lead to a self-fulfilling manifestation of a negative belief. People who are self-sabotaging are always saying, I wish I could do this or I wish I had the power to do that with a deep notion that deep within them, they, they believe that they can't really do it. But since positive results are just as much a manifestation of positive thoughts, just as negative ones are of negative thoughts, then it, it is very, very important to get rid of such guilt feelings and stop self-sabotaging your success. So how do we do it? Number one, never criticize your own behaviors in a destructive way. If you do so, your subconscious mind, will, con which is constantly absorbing information around you from you and from your environment and from other people, will be assuming that these criticisms are true since your conscious mind accepted them as true and allowed them to infiltrate into the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is always listening, always awake, and always like a sponge, accepting whatever beliefs reach it as being as if they are true. Your self-talk should only represent what you want to have to be real and true for you in life and not anything negative. The second step is also not to allow other people to talk anything negative about you, not even as a joke. And the third thing that you want to do to stop self-sabotaging behavior is to stop blaming other people for your failures and start to take responsibility for your own choices and actions. The next step is to forgive others. Now, this is such a critical um, step that I'm going to make a video about this very soon on this very important subject. And the next step is to learn the art of allowing what wants to enter your life to enter it. Remove the blockages that are stopping good energy, good vibes, and good things to enter your life. Stop blocking them from entering. Accept that good things are meant to happen to you. You deserve good because you are good and because you are doing your best. You are meant to bring your gifts to the world and to get gifts back from this world. It's like any transaction in a normal supermarket. You pay and you get stuff in return. Just as you share your gifts with the world and the world pays you back. The better you are at sharing your gifts, the more you will get back. Think about being uh, the supermarket owner and giving all of your merchandise away for free without getting anything in return. People take and take and give nothing in return, but you still have to pay the bills and to maintain the stock and to be and, and to hold the store. Very soon, you will be out of business and you won't continue to sell your merchandise. So now, who do you think loses the most in such a situation? Well, actually, to surprise you, the other people lose more than you lose because they don't have access to your unique merchandise. So you also, of course, you definitely lose, but your clients lose even more. And the same goes for relationships. You must honor and respect yourself. And if you don't, then this will ruin your relationship and both sides lose. You deserve a great relationship and you deserve to have mastery over your life. And you, you have to let others enjoy the gifts that you have. And you must get love and respect back in return, not criticism. So think about this every time you are self-sabotaging your success. Not only will you be losing, but many other people will be losing as a result of your self-sabotaging behavior as well. Do not be like Vincent van Gogh and allow yourself to reap the rewards of your work and of who you are during this lifetime. Allow yourself to win, allow yourself to reap the rewards and keep giving back. You deserve a good life and other people deserve your gifts. 
So as I always do with these videos, I will, uh, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move you to a better place in your life. And uh, your answer will help move you towards a better place for you. And the question of the day is, where in my life am I self-sabotaging my success? Where in my life do I feel that I am not good enough to gain the rewards that I deserve for my efforts? Well, think about this and slowly learn to allow yourself to reap the rewards of your efforts for the good you bring, for who you are. As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answer in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions, so that you can look over your answers and see how and ensure that you are moving your life to a better place for you and see how you're doing it. So to finish this video off, the affirmation of the day is, I deserve the best because I am doing my best to share my gifts with the world. I deserve the best because I am doing the best to share my gifts with the world. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So thank you very much for joining me here today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel or at least to this playlist if you want these uh, life coaching videos and ring the notification button every time I upload a new video um, to get notified. Also, please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help move your health and wellness to a better level for you. Thank you very much for joining.